Now, talking about drones, the continued warm and dry weather has led to the discovery of a really significant archaeological find, a Neolithic henge in Ireland. The drone flown over the Boyne Valley, uh, which is already a World Heritage Site, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, found the outline of a circle which is about 500 feet in diameter, but it would normally be hidden, and it's been hidden for thousands of years. The journalist and author Anthony Murphy is the man who made the find and he told me about it a little earlier. I could see in the field of crop a very large circular image and I was thrown by it initially the first couple of seconds I was thinking oh what's that I've never seen anything and there's no recorded archaeology well there's recorded archaeology in the field but nothing circular nothing of that uh, nature in this location. So my first thought actually was that maybe some farm machinery had, like a tractor had driven around in a circle right. or something. I mean, or, it's, I, I'm looking at the picture here. It's a perfect ring, isn't it? It's, yeah. it's beautifully circular. But to be honest with you, Rod, very quickly as I flew towards it, I could also suddenly see two outer rings of dots around what you can see there. Um, it, mainly visible in the image is is a set of broken dashes, double dashes that are broken at regular intervals. Uh, and outside of those, I could see, you know, uh, two rings of dots. And of course, the immediate thing that jumped into my head was this is a henge. I was totally bamboozled, um, a totally thrilled and enthralled. I had a feeling that this was something very, very, very substantial, not only in size, but in significance. Now, I can see, I mean, it's a beautiful field, this. It's been very well uh, planted. You know, it's got very, very regular tractor lines. You know, your man is obviously a complete uh, expert at this stuff. And then right in the middle, you've got this. So, But it's a slightly darker colour. So we're looking at a darker growth yeah. in the middle of, of what I might assume is a wheat field, but I'm not sure. It is, um, it is wheat, yes, you're it right. It is a wheat field, right. Yeah. So how come it's darker? We are seeing an image of the remains of a monument uh, on the top of the crop, <laughs> but the actual archaeology is located several feet beneath the ground. Um, what happens, I'm told, is that in a drought, Whatever tiny amount of residual water is left in the soil gathers a little bit more efficiently in the remains of the archaeological features. Now, these are probably the remains of pits and post holes that were later filled in with organic material. I understand that maybe the soil density in the features is different to the surrounding soil. But anyway, in any case, there's a slight advantage for the crop that is growing out of the archaeological features in terms of water supply. And therefore, there is a marginal difference in the colour and the health of the crop. So the wheat that is growing out of the archaeological features is slightly greener and healthier. And the crop that is growing out of the surrounding soil is slightly yellower and slightly less healthy. Now, the contrast provided is not uh, amazingly stark. Um, I flew over the henge or the, the image of the henge, as it were, again uh, since that. And in bright uh, sunlight, um, it's much more difficult to see on the screen of the, of the controller of right. the drone. It just happened that on Tuesday night last, when we made the discovery, the sun was low and at a low angle sure. and not in our eyes and not shining on the screens of the drones. And uh, uh, that was the author, uh, Greg Murphy, Anthony Murphy, I beg your pardon. And if you want to go uh, to uh, Anthony's site, it's well worth a look to see uh, what he's uh, what he's actually uncovered. He's got lots of pictures there.